All right, human movement, we give flexion at the arm, so it's gonna go in this direction. When it does, that is considered flexion. When you go back, that is extension. Okay, now I'm gonna correct some of the things that are listed here. Uh, and that is this. Um, when you use the word hyperextension, now this is gonna be more from a sports medicine perspective, which is this. Uh, when the when a joint, like in this case the shoulder, goes backwards, that is extension. Once you start getting into hyperextension, you're now getting into tissue damage. Okay, <clears throat> uh, flexion at the knee is this, where the leg goes up that way, the decrease in joint angle. Extension is this way at the knee where you get an increase in joint angle. Okay, same thing here. Uh, the head's in a neutral position. When you look down, that's flexion. When you look up and the head goes back, that's extension. But once you get into the tissue deformity, like whiplash, for example, now you're getting into hyperextension. Okay, over here, when you rotate the head left and right, we simply call that rotation. A couple names for this. We have when the foot goes to the outside, that's lateral rotation or external rotation. Okay, I want you to know both. And then when the foot goes to the inside, that is internal rotation or medial rotation. Okay, abduction. You're gonna have to be really careful on the way this sounds, because uh, abduction and adduction, or abduction, adduction, they kind of sound the same. Okay, so I'll try to be careful to enunciate properly. Ab, as in boy, abduction, is where the arm goes away from the midline, and or the leg goes away from the mid midline. Abduction. When you add the arm or the leg to the midline, that is AD as in delta, adduction, adduction. Circumduction is the ability to make circles. Uh, inversion, inversion of the ankle or supination, inversion or supination, eversion or pronation, no both. Okay, same down here. When those, when your palms go up, like you're carrying a cup of soup, um, palms up. If you picture a bowl, I give you a bowl of soup, and it's a big bowl, so you're gonna use both hands. Your palms are up. Okay, that's supination. When the palms go down, that is pronation. Okay, so supination and pronation. Okay, dorsiflexion is when the foot goes up and plantar flexion is pointing the toes or foot down. Opposition, a primate thing where the hand, I mean the thumb and your fingers are able to come together, that's called opposition. I wanna go back to this one. Uh, lateral rotation and medial rotation can also occur at the uh, shoulder. Like if you're doing uh, rotator cuff exercises and rehab exercises, um, you can grab a bungee, a uh, TheraBand, and do external rotation at the shoulder and internal rotation, or lateral rotation at the shoulder and medial rotation at the shoulder.